Hey there, welcome everyone guys, I'm Sh Shambo, this is Ascrop and I'm back with another Dancing Line in Unity tutorial and I'm going to do this tutorial about percentage text in the live stream done yesterday, Ana sh showed you the script to percentage so I will explain it today and do a few editing so that you can use this te script for text mesh pro 2 for those who are using text mesh pro and not only Unity text because Unity text sucks so I've got Unity opened up over here and my birthday level loaded. Okay. And I've got this script ready over here. That's the percentage text. You need to add this using Unity Engine.ui so that you can use this text variable. Well, audio source underscore audio variable will take in the game object that is having the audio source component to it. In my case, it is this music game object. and the float length will have the length of the total audio in seconds that is audio.clip.length current time will hold the current playback position of a audio in seconds and display UI is simply the percentage text and here's all the thing simply current time by length into 100 will give us the percentage I will save it I will like create a new unity text UI text name it person page we do not need to edit this new text because this will be edited by the script only whoa sorry I will change the where is it the font to KVR dreams that's used in dancing line I will add the script over here I will choose a music game object for audio source and display UI will use percentage text and we are good to go but there will be a problem I will show it to you right now it's at zero percent because the audio has not yet started Let's begin. As you can see, all those floating point numbers are coming. That is, those decimal things. We don't want that to come. We want only the whole numbers. That is, the integers. So that's why we will add a script to it. That's, we will add a parameter inside this. That is, that is 0. This will convert this float value to int and then to string. I simply truncate it. So it's pretty much done now. Let's check it again. Okay. Now as you can see no float value is coming. It's a brilliant value and it's fine. Now I'm going to show you how you can use it with Text Mesh Pro. Let's create a new Text Mesh Pro text. Call it Part Two. Okay. But before that, you simply cannot use a font over here directly. You need to create a font asset. Like I've created a, a KVR Dreams font asset. I will give this over here at the same perk. Okay. Now I will let me show you how you can create a font asset. If you have Text Mesh Pro installed over here, you need to go to Window Text Mesh Pro to font asset creator here you can create a font asset you need to like choose the font over here like let me choose I have done KVR dreams so let's choose banger okay so every, leave everything as it is let's generate font at last it's going to generate a font because this is text mesh we need to create a font 
mesh. Why oh, it's taking so much time? As you can see, this is not it. That crips ASCII. This one side, everything is normal, everything fine. All the sizing. So the mesh is pretty much done over here. Okay, see if we do smooth, this is more crisp. Let's check out razor hinted. Okay, so this is not long. Smooth is fine. We will save this text mesh pro asset. Let's over here, let's bangers asset. It's done. We have saved the text mesh pro asset. Ha! That is how you create a text mesh pro asset. Now you can change it from over here you see the bangers over here whoa that looks cool now we will edit up the script a bit we will add another library using sorry tm pro that's text mesh pro we will create another text variable a public text mesh pro huge ugui this is the thing not any other thing text mesh pro ugui park text we will do the same thing again control c simply in this case this time we will use park text Okay, so what's happening now? Did I do something wrong? Okay, so like... I did this right yesterday. And now it's not working. Hell. Sorry sorry I just missed one thing that's why it was not working it would be dot text and now it should be fine okay it's fine now let's save it let's head into a head back into unity let's over here it should like okay it's compiling now okay we will change this to pop two let's check back again both of them are zero percent but text mesh for text looks even way more cooler both of them are same but that text looks cooler that's why i will always recommend you that you should use a text mesh pro text because that's more crisp more cool well thanks for watching do not forget to subscribe to this channel do not forget and do not forget to join our Discord server too. Thanks for watching. Once again.